Hi, my name is Richard Bromwell, and if you've just been watching our wonderful wine auction video, you'll know what we're about to be doing. Today, we're going to be talking about our silver and jewellery and watch auction, which is coming up on Thursday, the 19th of May 2016. We've got around about 600 lots of silver jewellery and watches, a huge selection of items. We've got lots here estimated from sort of £50 up to £8,000, a really, really good broad selection of items. But as usual, I'm just going to go through and select a few of my personal favourite bits and pieces. First up is a whopping great big canteen of cutlery. Ah, oh, hang on, best not drop this one. It's only a modern set, but it's a fantastic canteen of cutlery here. Fish, knives and forks, not that I personally use those very often. Um, silver spoons, and this has all got this all fully hallmarked. Around about 95% of all matched with the manufacturer in the day. There's a couple of years, which isn't unusual drift, Often they go down and sort of say, hi, I'd like a canteen of cutlery, and you go down and get your spoons, your forks, your knives, and then there's a couple of, uh, uh, a couple of odd dates in there. But for a canteen of cutlery like that, at auction, you're probably looking around about £1,000, maybe £1,500. Bearing in mind, if you had to go out to replace that, you'd probably pay five, maybe £6,000, and that's obviously why you should be coming to auction. So that's a quick little canteen there, something not always suitable for the dishwasher. But uh, as we've had our, our, our wine, port and spirit auction walkabout, I thought I'd talk about these things here. Lovely bit of Art Deco design here. This is lot 568 coming up in the auction. It's got a little silver collar on it, but I love this sort of sunburst design on it here. Lovely matching stopper. Stopper fits nicely, it's a good snug fit here. And just with a little silver collar, estimated between sort of 50 and 80 pounds. Sadly, we don't use decanters as much as we used to. And what do you think this is gonna be? If you think it's going to be an old church bell, you're absolutely wrong. It's actually a cocktail shaker. Fantastic thing here. It all unscrews and it's all it's all made by Asprey's wonderful quality. That you're all the, your Harvey wall banger out of there or your, whatever it is, um, sex on the beach. Oh, I say misses. There you go. Um, and uh, this is a lovely little Asprey um, novelty cocktail shaker, which is probably between two and three hundred pounds as a piece of silver plate. Does need a little bit of a, a bit of a bit of a polish on it there, but also when we see uh, silver items, we we see broad items of which are novelty. And here we've got here is a little sort of bonbon dish, so something to keep your little sweetmeats in. And uh, what else would you want it to be made out of? But sil solid silver in the form of a wheelbarrow. Um, and uh, this is purely ornamentation here. Um, love the wheel, just rotates around there quite happily. And for a piece like this, this is a late Victorian piece, late 19th century, and it's probably between 250 and 400 pounds. So quite a bit of money for something which is just a novelty. But again, it's a lovely quality piece. And one thing which I wouldn't normally talk about, because we see so many of them, most of them aren't worth anything, are these entree dishes. And what's unusual about this one is, this is made of silver. It's not plated. We've got your plated um, novelty, cocktail shaker but probably 999 out of a thousand ones we see of these they will be uh, plated and this is the one in a thousand and that's why when we look at items as auctioneers and values we don't have to we don't we don't always assume that we know exactly what they are so that's actually quite valuable that's probably four to six hundred pounds as a silver one as a plated one it's probably 20 or 30 pounds so it's important to pick up on those items and just in the way the victorians invented this rather um, unusual way of displaying your little bonbons here. Um, we've got here is a silver plated Stilton scoop. So what you do is here, you pop it into your Stilton, you turn it round, you pull out your bit of Stilton, and then to get rid of it, so you don't touch it, you just go like that. It's got a little pusher on it as well. With an ivory handle here, um, again, a typical sort of bonkers piece of Victoriana. And one like that, it's an ideal put, I suppose it's an ideal gift to someone who's got absolutely everything and has a particular penchant for for Stilton, probably between sort of 50 and 80 pounds. But we've got around about 160, 170 lots of silver, um, teapots and vases and toast racks and bits and pieces there. But these are some of my more sort of personal favourites here. Moving on, we've got around about the 300 to 350 lots of jewellery. And this is one of my favourite lots here, this, this lovely... Um, Oh, suit juicer, there we go. This lovely diamond and sapphire Art Deco style ring here. Quite a modest estimate on it. Um, beautiful quality, good stones, and that's estimated between five and eight hundred pounds. And it wouldn't surprise me if it comfortably does a thousand pounds without too much difficulty. Um, although actually she must have had quite a quite a, a large ring size there. 
And if you like, if you like your rings large, then we've got in this box here. Yep, here we go. Come and have a look at this one. This is an absolute whopper. There we are. I put it on my little finger. It's around about three carats, and a three carat ring, again like that, is probably between four, five, six thousand pounds. Um, quite highly set, but a really good stone. Good colour. Uh, it's a, it's a good carat. And uh, again, that'll be a, we've had quite a bit of pre-auction interest in that one already. You're never certain really whether it's a present for a, a loved one, the wife, or maybe maybe both. You never really know. And again, another classic classic design ring here is the two stone crossover ring. Again, uh, a perennial uh, favourite at auction. And this one here, it's got its geomological uh, certificate with it as well. So we know what the stones are. They're both a fraction under a, um, a carat each, and a ring like that is estimated between one and two thousand pounds. But possibly something more for the chaps is this lovely again. When you get a box, a lovely box like that, you're always something to be very interesting inside. And you've got these lovely little moonstone cufflinks here, uh, child and child moonstone cufflinks, estimated round about the five to six hundred pound mark. Lovely little Lake Victorian set there. And the last thing before we move on to the watches is is an Albert. There we are, it's all a little bit tangled up. That's good news, isn't it? There we go. So a little, little gold Albert here, which you sort of wear your, your watch through. More often or not, they're, they're worn these days as bracelets, or if they're, well, they probably won't go around my neck, or as a necklace there. This one's unusual because this one is, is 18 karat gold. The majority of the ones we see of these are only nine karat. So this is kind of quite a, quite, quite, quite a rare one. And about five years ago, when the price of gold and silver was particularly high, a lot of these, I'm afraid, went into the melting pot. Whereas now the smart people are realising that because so many have been melted down, a lot of our business is simply economic supply and demand, that there's actually quite a quite a shortage in supply. So that's now driving the price of these up well, well, well above the price of their, their scrap metal value. But also in the auction in here, we've got a big selection of watches. Now, we've got some big chunky monkey watches. We've got this Omega here, the Seamaster Ocean Planet here, and it's got its box, it's got its papers, it's lot 704, and it's estimated at about a thousand pounds that one, so quite a good saving on you. We then go back a little bit earlier, we've got a Second World War period um, um, military issue watch here. The majority of the military issue watches had the black dial, obviously, so the enemy can't see you, unless you're in a submarine when you don't have a black dial because no one's going to see you at all. Um, so, a little bit of trivia for you there. And for the, uh, the Gent Seema wristwatch here, it's got an estimate between two and three hundred pounds, and again, a huge amount of interest, pre auction interest has come in on this. So, you've got a good selection of watches here, and again, I think that's going to do four, five, six hundred pounds without too much difficulty. And then maybe one of the more prettier pieces is this. I'll show you both sides. This is a gold enamel and diamond pocket watch, a gent's pocket watch here. And this has a minute repeat. So when it's pitch black and you're driving along in your, in your carriage and you want to know what the time is, or if you were staying at a friend's house who, in, back in the 19th century when they didn't have electricity, you would actually pull the plunger. I don't know if it's actually going to work for me now, is it? Absolute silence. No, it's not wound up. Never work with chill. Hello. Can you hear that? No, you missed it. Sorry. Never work with children, watches and animals. There we go. And uh, on one side, we've got this diamonds here with the, the oh, it's, it's not going to stop now, is it? You've got the, um, the uh, horse here underneath the coronet here and with the initials on the other side. And that's a wonderful thing. The technology that they took to get a minute repeat. That's to repeat the last, so you know what the time is to within a minute in the 19th century was absolutely phenomenal. And that watch, even with a bit of damage, is estimated, is estimated between 4,000 and 5,000 pounds. Well, there's a bit of a, a quick tour around our silver jewelry and watch auction, which is part of our three day sale. And this is coming up on the 19th of May. Um, if you want to have a look at our lovely lots, they're all available on www charterhouse-auction.com or give us a buzz, pick up the phone, uh, 01935 812277 and uh, hope you've enjoyed the walk and talk. Thank you.